In this video, we'll look at how to find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for iron, Fe. Iron has three major isotopes. We'll look at each one of the isotopes as well. We'll talk more about isotopes later. But when we look at the periodic table here, we can fill a lot of information in. We have the atomic number for iron, that's 26. So 26, and it doesn't matter what isotope that is, it's gonna be 26. The atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So if we have an atomic number of 26, we have 26 protons. And that's what defines iron, Fe. If you have 26 protons, your atomic number is 26, that's gonna be iron, Fe. On the periodic table, Fe is just Fe. There's no positives or negatives after it. So if we have just Fe, that's gonna be considered a neutral compound. There's nothing written, no pluses or minus after it. So if it's a neutral compound, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So if we have 26 as our atomic number, we have 26 protons. Since this is neutral, we have 26 electrons. That doesn't matter for which isotope of iron we have. It's always 26 when it's neutral. The thing that is different for isotopes of iron, that's the number of neutrons. So there are three major isotopes of iron. The first one is called iron 56. That 56 that's the mass number, so iron 56. If we want to find the number of neutrons, the mass number equals the protons plus the neutrons. So this is going to equal protons plus the number of neutrons gives us the mass number. 26 plus 30, that'll give us 56. So for iron 56, we have the 26 protons, the neutrons 30, and then we have this mass number here. About 92% of iron, if you had a block of iron, 92% of the atoms would have 30 neutrons and a mass number of 56. Another isotope of iron is iron 57. Write iron 57, so we already know the mass number is 57. So 26 plus 31, that gives us 57. So we have our iron 57. About 2% of the atoms, if you have a sample of iron, will be iron 57. The other major isotope for iron is called iron 54. So we have a mass number of 54. So 26 plus 28, that would give us 54. About five or six percent of iron atoms in a sample will be iron 54. So we have all this information here for iron, the three major isotopes. You can't just look at the periodic table and tell how many isotopes there are. There are actually a few other isotopes, kind of minor isotopes of iron. But you can look at the periodic table and look at the average atomic mass. That's 55.85. That's an average of these mass numbers for all the isotopes of iron. That's an average, but most of them are 56. So this number here is closer to 56. This is a weighted average. So since most of these are 56, have a mass number of 56 with the 30 neutrons, we'll have this average closer to 56 as well. We can write the specific notation though for isotopes, it's something called nuclear notation. When we do that, we write the mass number, say 56, and then the number of protons or the atomic number like this. So this is called nuclear notation. We could do iron 57 as well. And again, it's 26 for the atomic number because that's the definition of iron. And then finally, iron 54, you can kind of guess, would look like this. This is Dr. B finding the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for iron. Thanks for watching.